Hi, it's Diana again with Friday Feathered Facts. And today we are in the treatment room at the rehab center at Montana Wild. And we're going to show you what happens when an injured bird comes in. Um, Allie is going to walk us through the steps of the first physical exam. And our patient today is a prairie falcon. This guy came in from Shoto. He was on the ground near a chicken coop, unable to fly. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with him. Allie has put a hood on him to help reduce stress. Falcons tend to be very high stress birds. And as you can imagine, for this little guy, after his initial injury, then coming in and being handled by us huge predators, that's a pretty stressful situation. So here we go with the initial physical exam, and Allie's going to tell us what she's doing here. All right, so we're just trying to get him in the proper position at the moment. He's got his talons in their towel. At the there we <laughs> and go. And you can see he's got some pretty nice talons there. They're sharp. We don't want that in our fingers, which is why Diana is wearing gloves for safety equipment. All right, so what I'm going to have Diana do is I'm going to have her hold the feet for me. So you're going to put your pointer finger, Middle in, finger in there. There we and go. And hold and make sure she's got a secure hold so that I'm able to do the exam that I need to. There we go. All right. So for these guys, um, what I'm going to be looking for initially is I want to just take a peek when they first come in and see, you know, is the bird sitting in proper position? Is it standing? Is it laying down? Everything like that. This bird happened to be standing up looking at me and there was a slight droop to one of the wings. So we are then going to go in and proper personal protection. I would have rubber gloves on, which I don't have at the moment. But I go through and I am going to just check the body to see how thin he is. Come along here, feel for any swelling, dislocation in that shoulder. Come down the wing and he's not going to like being touched like this because in the wild they would not have anybody touching them this way. So feel for anything that's loose or not in the position that it should be. Diana's going to keep hold, and then we look for extension. So I want to be able to extend that wing fully and make sure that it's in good shape. And we're going to do a brief exam because we don't want to stress this guy out. So then I'm going to take this one foot from Diana, make sure she's got a hold of the other one. I want to check again all of the skeletal along the legs, making sure everything is good. And we do want to look at their feet because this is one of the places where we can get problems. So I just want to look at those inside pads. He's got some poop on there, but otherwise they look in really good condition. I don't see any sores or any wounds. That is the other thing we look for is any soft tissue wounds. And then we look for the feathers and see what condition those are in. So his flight feathers are looking okay. Tail feathers are looking good. Now on a normal first intake, I would do an eye exam and an oral exam. We've already done that on this bird. I don't want to take the hood off and stress him out anymore. So I'm going to put my gloves back on and we are actually going to give him his first meal today. So I will make sure that everything is secure here. Take him back from Diana. I'm going to tuck the wings in. Hold him up and what I'm going to have you do is actually remove the hood. So these two short strings, pull those out. And that'll loosen the back of the hood. It's a it little will. stiff, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just gonna keep pulling. Wow, I'm not yeah. afraid to hurt him. I'll, I'll not do that, but hold on. Yeah, so I think this one, that and one, this and one. that one. Two and short just pull ones. Them. And pull them straight out. Oh, there we there go. We go. I just and then lift pulling. it right off. There he is. And you is. can see his demeanor as soon as we take that hood off. It has changed because he can see now. So you can tell that hood had a big effect on his relative calmness. But he has to be able to see what he's eating. Because ideally we would get these guys to eat on their own. He has not done that for us yet. So I'm going to take a small piece of food. Put it down. And oh, swallow. good. Yay. And so this is his breakfast. We weigh out what they're going to eat. Oh, he's doing so good. that I know exactly how much food he's getting calorie wise. 
And what I'm feeding him today is some small pieces of mouse. Oh, there you go. Yummy. <laughs> Good. That's a good sign. He's looking good. He's eating good. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes he won't always take it. Well. Get a chance to swallow. He might be a little stressed with all the company we have here. Yes. So. Yes. We will put him back and let him okay. relax. Prairie falcons are uh, the, the mid-range of the five native falcons to Montana. Uh, after the peregrine, which is the largest, and the deer falcon, and then the prairie, then the merlin, and the American kestrel. They all like to hunt birds in flight, uh, and their superpower is speed. They are the fastest birds in the world. They also will eat small rodents. As Ali just was feeding him a mouse. That's, that's part of his natural diet as well. So Prairie falcons are sensitive, well, all the falcons are pretty sensitive to stress. And so when they come into rehab, as I said, this is a very stressful thing for them. So we try to make it as quick and gentle as possible and then give them a lot of time in the quiet by themselves so they can calm down. Once they realize that we aren't going to eat them, which is what predators do, um, then it helps and they do settle down a little bit more. But this guy's fairly new, so he's, he's still a little stressful. So there you have it. That's what happens when an injured bird comes in. That's what we do. And if they're not injured too badly, hopefully we can help them. So thanks for checking in. And again, suggestions, comments in the box, please. And uh, we'll see you next time.